Now I want to talk to the limp Sally Wag, neck beers, angry at everything, no existence, your mother never hugged you enough, your daddy bullied you throughout your life and now you can't seem to find happiness anywhere you look. You think there's a group of people targeting you, even though we know for sure your lord and savior. Tom Cruise was the last samurai and no one said anything. We let you have that. It was all gravy and baby. But you guys are mad about this. If you find yourself in any form of fashion or function not being able to handle this like a grown up adult and just accepting that it's a game, a game, then stay mad. I hope you cry about it. No one's going to love you. No one's going to hug you. Go ahead and find somewhere to hide for the next six to seven years while you grow the hell up okay it's a video game get over it there's more than enough white males in video games that you can definitely handle and accept and for all the people crying well assassin shut up okay shut up come here shut up yeah you no one cares it's just a video game i'm about to buy a playstation 5 and play a video game i've never played in my life because it appealed to me that's what video games are designed to do and if at any point you find yourself wanting to be you know the main assassin in Assassin's Creed game, there's more than enough for you to go indulge yourself with. But just let people have stuff, okay? There's no need to cry about it. If we can get past this, hopefully you can find some peace in your life and not let every little thing on the internet bother you. It's okay to log off. Go touch some grass outside, okay? It's good to talk to you. I'll see you on the side. Get down! Right, All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know, the more I talk about video games on this channel, the more I realize you guys like the video game version of me that no longer exists. But before we get started, I'd like to make a ploy. In fact, we're going to take this to a solo screen. Hey, how you doing, Ubisoft? My name is Hero. This is Coding with Strangers. Uh, it's been brought to my attention that you're coming out with a new Assassin's Creed game, and I think that's phenomenal. Chef's Kiss. Have I ever played an Assassin's Creed game? No, not at all. But this one has piqued my interest. Because for some strange reason, you guys have decided to put this in feudal Japan. And, you know, why not? That's a good idea. I like the idea. But then, dive a little deeper, lean a little bit more in. I found out that you guys made a black man one of the main characters, one of the two main characters. And I said to myself, that's fascinating. So I did a little bit of research and found out that, yeah, it's the... It's an actual accurate uh, samurai who actually existed back then. He's a, he's not only a playable character or he's not even an original character. He is someone who existed in that time span. And I said to myself, oh, that's awesome. And then I saw the trailer and I was like, oh, he has dreads like me. And oh, he has a luscious beard like me. I mean, the man's, the man's is handsome. And I have to say, so this is my plea to Ubisoft, to whoever's out there in the marketing division. Reach out to me or my people. I would love to uh, be your new Black Samurai for this game. Reach out to your boy and let me know if it's possible. All right, all right, all right. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about the Ubisoft Reveals Assassin's Creed Shadows. It's a long-awaited feudal Japan game. This is something that has kind of flown over my radar. I'm not a person that plays video games like that. But I think I might be buying a PlayStation 5 and this game. But as I dug a little bit deeper, I didn't. it didn't occur to me that Assassin's Creed games, um, I knew that they did things with history, but I could clearly see from outside looking in that they weren't all historically based. Um, they carried some likeness, but it was it's sort of like when you see a movie based on a true story. We all know what they're trying to say. They're just trying to have fun with it. But the Discord online has been unbecoming of human nature. And it's just a, it's, it's such a painful realization to see how we can't have a video game and talk about the truly bad. There's If you want to complain about something bad about an Ubisoft game, trust me, you can complain about a lot of things. And, and we'll cover it. I took notes. But I want to talk a little bit about the Discord. I want to talk a little bit about the, um, the things that just don't make sense. And give a little bit of a history lesson if you will allow it, you know? So here's our hot take. We have a few things we want to cover, so we'll kind of move quick here. But Ubisoft really reveals Assassin's Creed Shadows is a long-awaited feudal Japan game. 
Ubisoft gave Assassin's Creed fan their first real look at the next flagship game in the long-running franchise with the debut trailer of Assassin's Creed Shadow on Wednesday, previously known as Assassin's Creed Codename Red. Makes sense. Shadow will send the franchise to feudal Japan for the first time in November, uh, letting players live out the shinobi fantasies. The Ninja Naoi? Assassin's Creed Shadow will also let players take on a second role, that that of a legendary black samurai, Soyasuke. While other Assassin's Creed games have featured dual protagonists, the two playable characters of Shadow appear to be more distinct than those of previous games. Yeah, I've seen the dual play before, but for the first time, I, it, I watched the trailer of this and it's very clearly that Yasuke is way bigger, way stronger. And that's why I think I would make such a great reference for him because he's seen, he's depicted in sumo attire at one point. So it stands to reason that he's a pretty big dude, which, you know, I'm all for. The female ninja character uh, shown wielding a ninjoto wrist blade, Kusa, oh my goodness, these names are going to beat my ass, Kusagarama. Uh, her samurai contemporary is a heavily armored fella with a hefty katana. Yeah, okay, okay. So yeah, he is much bigger uh, than probably the average assassin. They debut trailer of Assassin's Creed Shadow teased in cinematic ambitions and introduced its characters fans made may need to wait until Ubisoft Ford in June for a look at the actual gameplay, which is the most important part. Assassin's Creed Shadow is being developed by Ubisoft in Quebec, the studio behind Assassin's Creed Odyssey. From 2018, under creative direction of Jonathan Dumanto, uh, Shadow has originally announced in 2022 under the code name and is promised to send the Assassin's Creed franchise to one of the fans' most requested settings. But it goes without saying that, you know, there has been some unfortunate, maybe fortunate, unfortunate, depending on how you look at it, fans who just who just can't handle this. And you always see this um, with with what's going on. And and I'll take a second here to sit here and say, if you are mad about um, <laughs> if, if anyone is going to be mad about this, uh, I would probably accept it from maybe an Asian man. Uh, an Asian man or, or a, a, in, uh, of Indian descent, maybe. But if you're mad because you're not being represented, that's one thing. If you're mad because someone else got representation, then you're part of the problem. And I, I'm not here to necessarily argue with anybody about culture swapping or anything like that. I think you have to understand that when something has been something for so long, people lose interest in it. To diversify a situation only makes it better. And if you're going to sit here and say, well, wh 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 what if they made Black Panther white? Go ahead. Go for it. <laughs> go for it and see what happens. <laughs> I'm going, there's a reason why it hasn't happened yet. And it's because there's not a market for it. There's literally nobody who would be interested in watching that. It's, it's just not something that they're interested in. And if there is a market for it, trust and believe a bunch of business bros and girls have put their minds together and pushed it to the to the corporate people who have money. So this is a situation for uh, uh, for them to make money. Um, that's all it is. And we'll talk about that in the grand scheme of things. But for all the people complaining that this was the one time for us to go to feudal Japan and have a proper samurai game. Um, I have a list of games here that have already come out that you can play. Uh, Sekiro died twice. Uh, one game. Uh, a bunch of awards, and I think Game of the Year. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima, um, which is another great game that came out that you can play. Uh, there's also one more game called Nioh, Niho, N I O H. Um, that's just a video game for samurais, but the main character is a white, blonde haired, blue eyed man. So there have been versions of this game for every demographic already so that's settled right if you want to play a samurai game with your certain demographics that game exists go play it um, i don't know if there's been a a samurai black person as a video game um maybe afro samurai yeah but i don't think those games are good if if those i don't think those games are good i feel like those are like uh wb games that were like javascript shit um but there those games exist um another point is they saying Yasuke wasn't a real person. And that's just not true because that's how I found out about 
who he was and the fact that he was a big boy. He's a thick boy. See here, he putting the moves on somebody. This is based on the Netflix episode, but basically he is true. He is a real person from like the 16th century, uh, since this game was based in the 1500s to 1600s. So he's a real person that definitely existed. Was brought over as a slave, was then converted into uh, security after uh, the intrigue of his strength and ability uh, was was noticed by some leader who decided to take him under his uh, his wing. The next thing that people are talking about is that that this is the this is the argument that I've been hearing and I've seen videos on it. They're like, well, Assassin's Creed is leaving their tried and true model of making the original character someone who is not a real person. They always make up their own original characters for the main character position. And while true for all the mainline games, this is not true for multiplayer, and this is also not true for DLC. Uh, Black Flag, Blackbeard was part of that game in the multiplayer. Um, a few other people pointed out Jack the Ripper, while not a real person in the sense of that, was somebody was someone that you could play as. They also mentioned Lee Noids in AC Odyssey. Uh, with someone else they should play and you could also play as someone's dad uh, parent also in there are these all little shortcoming part parts to a DLC no but that's not a, a, if you're upset because uh, this is the first character to ever be real if anything this should make you excited because if you're telling me there's a day or a way that we can get an Abraham Lincoln Assassin's Creed game have has, has anyone ever seen the Abraham Lincoln vampire movie the movie makes no sense and is is in the story in itself is probably god awful. But some of the combat choreography with that battle axe was amazing. And if you're telling me that there's not a version of Assassin's Creed that has Abraham Lincoln in a top hat wielding an axe to kill uh the bad people, who are the bad people in Assassin's Creed game? Somebody needs to tell me that. Uh, I'll pay money for that. But let's talk about is the game woke. First and foremost, capitalism is not woke capitalism is greed this is an argument you hear a lot uh if you've ever been in like a target where they have rainbow colored things or lgbtq things you'll see people run to the to the higher now don't get me wrong is it pandering absolutely but what you think they make advertisement commercials because they make you feel better no they're trying to motivate you they're trying to ingratiate themselves to make you go buy something and you want to know something there's at least seven Assassin's creed game right every single assassin's creed game has been for every single person who's bought it at this point they need to find new people to play this game because the same people buying this game will not beat the quota of last year's game what do i mean ubisoft bounces back in profit from in 2023 to 2024 after losing 40, 494.2 million euros the previous year as releases were delayed, Ubisoft earned a net profit of 157.8 million euros, 171.6 million in the fiscal year to end off the March 2024. They need to make money. So in order for them to make money, they can't make the same shit they made last time. No one will buy it or the same people will buy it and that's not a that's not a cost increase so if this is assassin creed one and they make assassin creed the exact same the same people are going to buy it but if they put a if they put yasuke in the game oh now i'm talking about it so guess who else is going to buy it me plus the people who probably do and this is the thing you got to understand and not enough of you vote with your wallet because the few of you who won't buy this game will almost be doubled or tripled by the people who have now taken a vested interest in this. The business is to get new people and capitalism isn't woke. So there, that agenda is over. And above all else, you think that they didn't account for this backlash? Drama sells. I'm talking about it. You're mad about it. And the world's laughing at one of us. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I'm laughing at you. Uh, don't worry. I know you're. I know you're healing. It's okay. But that's just something to be bad. At. Like, but but you want to know something? I do agree to you to a certain extent. You deserve to be angry about something. This like this does warrant anger and aggression. The only problem is, is your anger and aggression is probably being directed towards someone at the wrong place, which you should be mad at. What you need to be mad at is these damn prices. Before the game has even come out, before any 
gameplay has come out. They've already started making their special editions nonsense. For so for sixty nine ninety nine, nice clap it up. I'll, I'll give you that. Nice. You can get the pre order bonus and base game. For the gold edition for a hundred and nine dollars, you can get the base game pre order bonus season pass and three day early access. For the Ultimate Edition, you can get the base game, Season Pass, 3-Day Early Access, Ultimate Pack, $129. So, with, so for a monthly per subscription of $17.99 every month, including 100 game, so basically Game Pass for Ubisoft, you can get everything that's included plus Game Pass. But for $130, before there's even any gameplay, these people have decided to put this shit out there. There's a part of me that really wants to just wait it wait till the game comes out, then go buy it from GameStop after someone's returned it. Um, you got to vote with your wallets here. I'm not a fan of these tactics. I'm not a fan. I would rather wait another six months and pay $80 to get all of this stuff in one fell swoop. Uh, rushing stuff like this to market. But once again, Ubisoft made money last year. It wasn't because their system and their schemes didn't work. People don't, people might complain about it, but they're still paying for it. So there's one, one, one thing you can be mad at. Be mad that they're making you pay for stuff that without even showing you what you're going to get, right? You want to know what else you can be mad about without, with, with extreme prejudice? Hey, every Ubisoft game that has ever released with this level of care and, and d dedication from a AAA uh, company has released with bugs. There's literally patch notes all the way back to 2020 13 about games that had bugs or were unplayable day one that just didn't work. And this is from Steam in Assassin's Creed's own homepage, buggy and unplayable. This is dating back to 2021. This one date back to 2018. These are things that you could be super mad about instead of Yasuke being a black dude in the Assassin's Creed game, right? And I think overall the final thing that if you had to put a, a cap on this, if you're going to be mad about anything, be mad that you're going to be doing 120 fetch quests that is going to be used to pad you going up and down an open world map that has probably scaled enemies to always be on your level so that none of the things that you're doing ever really mean anything and you're probably going to have to buy a bunch of tokens so you can level up your character faster or you're going to have to spend 40 hours just grinding the game out so that you can actually have an impact and beat someone in game be mad that they're not going to give you an immersive cool game that's probably going to put you on the edge of your seat and really push the innovation of storytelling and gameplay mechanics be upset that they're not very much interested in trying innovative things in their games but actually returning things back to the way they used to be. If you're going to be mad about anything, be mad that you're probably not going to get the game of the year. And that's something to really cry about. But everything else in between time and the meantime, clap it. I'd love to hear your thoughts about why you're mad about a black guy being a samurai in the game. Like, share, and subscribe. Hey, Ubisoft, call me. I'll play your game. I know I just gave you guys a, a, a mean rundown. But if I like your game, I'll, I'll, I'll change my mind.